Dear students, welcome to this video class. In this video class, we are going to discuss about a chapter from class 10 science that is life processes. In this video, we are exactly focusing on what is breathing and which organs are take part in the process of breathing. Also, what are alveoli and what are the functions of the alveoli in the process of the breathing. Dear students, let's start our discussion with the question, what is breathing? Dear students, breathing means intaking of the air and expelling the air from the lungs through the nostrils is called breathing. So exactly if we speak, the meaning of breathing is, here there is a word, the exchange of gases which takes place in the lungs is called breathing. So this breathing process is assisted by the uh, inhale and the exhale. That means intaking of the air and expelling the air from the lungs. So totally the exchange of gases which take place in lungs is called breathing. So here the lungs absorbs the oxygen and give out the carbon dioxide. So in this process many organs like nose, trachea, lungs, bronchus, bronchioles and alveoli are the important organs which take part in the breathing. At the same time there are some special structures called nostrils, rib, rib bones and diaphragm which help in the process of breathing. Dear students, in this slide we are going to discuss about what is the difference between inhale and exhale. So the meaning of inhale means that is intaking of air into the lungs through the nostrils is called as inhale and this process is called inhalation totally. So this air that means the inhaled air contains more amount of oxygen. So now what happens as the air enters into the nostrils and then into the trachea now what happens the rib bones the rib bones are move away that means they move outward direction the rib bones what happen they move outward direction along with the rib bones the diaphragm also so this diaphragm also it is also move in outward direction so diaphragm means it is a very thin membrane structure which supports in the process of the breathing. As the rib bones move outward, as the diaphragm also move outward, now what happens? The volume of the, the size of the lungs increases. As the size of the lungs on the, um, increases, now air can easily enter into the lungs. That means from the trachea, the air can enter into the both the lungs. So this process is called inhalation. So totally the intaking of air into the lungs through the nostrils is called as inhalation. Okay, now let's come to the what is the meaning of exhale. So exhale means this is quite opposite for the inhale. That means the moving away of air from the lungs through the nostrils is called exhalation. So usually what happens, this exhaled air contains more amount of carbon dioxide. So at the time of exhalation, what happens? The rib bones, they move inward direction. They move inward direction. The rib bones move inward. Also, also the diaphragm also move inward. As the diaphragm and the rib bones move inward, what happens? The size of the the volume of the lungs decreases and it creates a pressure inside the lungs. As the pressure created, now what happens? The air can easily move away from the lungs and enters into the trachea. From both the lungs, the air from the lungs move out into the trachea and finally to the nostrils. So this process is called exhalation. In this slide, we are going to discuss about how exactly the exchange of gases takes place in human beings, that is in respiratory system. Here, we can find the diagram of the human respiratory system and this is the structure of the alveoli. So first what happens? During inhale, that means intaking of air 
at the time of inhale what happens the air enters into the nose through the nostrils see from the atmosphere what happens the air moves into the nose and it enters into the nostrils so in the nostrils what happens the walls of the nostrils they are lined with the fine hairs and the uh, mucus mucus so this mucus and the fine uh, fine hairs filters the air now that air moves into the uh, throat so the now air moves into the throat and reaches into the trachea a elongated tubular structure made up of the c shaped c, uh, c, uh, c shaped cartilage tissue now the air moves in the trachea and this trachea is branched into the two parts that is the bronchus and each part is called as the bronchus as the air reaches into the bronchus again in the lungs what happen each bronchus is divided into the many branches see these branches are called as the bronchioles at the end of each bronchiole we can find the balloon shaped structures called as the alveoli so this is the alveoli so this is the magnified structure of the alveoli so exactly in the alveoli what happens the exchange of gases takes place so here the from the alveoli what happens the oxygen moves into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood it is enters into the alveoli that means exchange of gases takes place so finally what happens as the carbon dioxide it is collected by the alveoli so the carbon dioxide moves into the bronchioles to the bronchus to the trachea to the throat and nostrils and finally the through the nose what happens the carbon dioxide is expelled out this is called exhale so totally the inhale and exhale together called as the breathing process dear students in this slide we are discussing about how exactly the exchange of gases takes place inside the lungs with the help of the alveoli so what are alveoli alveoli are the functional units of the lungs okay the next point is these alveoli are balloon shaped air sacs we can notice here so these are the balloon shaped air bags which can carry the oxygen and help in the exchange of gases dear students i have taken the structure of one alveolus so this is the structure of one alveolus the walls of the alveolus is very very thin so that it can easily participate in the exchange of the gases so that means the walls of the alveolus are they are very very thin so during inhale that means through the inhale what happens the air enters into the alveolus that means the air enters into the alveolus at the same time what happens each alveole is surrounded by the blood capillaries so these blood capillaries are carrying the uh, blood which is rich with the carbon dioxide dear students this blood capillaries it is carrying the blood which is uh, which is carrying the more amount of the carbon dioxide in the blood now what happens now the oxygen from the alveolus what happens it is diffuses into the blood capillaries once i am repeating the air which is contain the more amount of oxygen which is present in the alveolus it is moves into the blood capillaries so in this process the rbs that means the uh, red blood corpuscles they are uh, uh, they are contain the one respiratory pigment called as the hemoglobin so this hemoglobin what what does it make it easily absorbs the oxygen into the blood as it has as it is showing the more affinity with the oxygen so finally what happens the carbon dioxide which is present in the blood capillary the carbon dioxide which is present in the blood what happens it is diffuses into the alveolus that means the blood carrying the carbon dioxide now what happens this carbon dioxide gas moves into the diffuses into the 
alveolus. Dear students, totally there is exchange of gases between the alveolus and the blood capillaries. That means the oxygen from the alveolus enters into the blood and the carbon dioxide from the blood moves into the alveolus. So finally what happens, the carbon dioxide is expelled out through the process of the exhalation. Thus, dear students, how exactly the exchange of gases takes place in our body. Dear students, in the next video, we are going to discuss about the uh, circulation in the human beings. That means uh, the structure of the heart, how the heart pumps the blood and how the blood moves in our body and what is the importance of the circulation in human body. Thank you for watching this video.